that belt. That crap's irritating. All right, guys, just like that, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm running out of room. I need to, I need a garage like really bad. So, hmm. but anyway, I'm going to jack up the back of the car, which is the whole whole reason I bought those wheels, just to have like drift spares. I'm going to jack up the back of the car and test fit one of them, and fingers crossed that it actually works. I checked the fitment before I went and bought the wheels, but it's kind of. It's really close to some wheels that will fit good, but I don't know. We'll see. But let me get this thing jacked up real quick, get the old wheel off. I don't know, it's a little bit aggressive. <laughs> that's like a 245, 40. So that's kind of went around like a 255, 265, somewhere around there. I don't know. Which of my driving abilities, a 245 might be all I need. Hmm. It's a little aggressive. I would take it around the block, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't know about that tire and stuff, so. But it's definitely up a little high. I tried to settle the car by rolling it back and forth. I actually like the wheel though. The wheel looks pretty cool on there, I think. But I don't know. We'll have to see. So I'm glad at least I test fitted this before I actually bought some tires. I like to run a little taller tire on this Corvette just because how massive the wheel arches are. This, this car needs like a really big rim on it. So I probably would just order some more 245 40 18s. So, yeah. But the wheels I have on here, they're, they're kind of, they're a little bit, you know, crappy fitment. You see how far in the front tire is, which is not too bad, but I'm sure when I get an angle kit, it's going to fix that. No problem. But yeah, these are like a 18 by, an 18 by 9 with like a 20 offset. And the wheel that was on there, is an 18 by 9 and a 15. I do believe. Um, not 100 percent sure on that, but and I think the fronts are eights, uh, 18 by 8, and I have no idea what else it is. But we're getting close. I definitely needed some wheels because I hate going to a drift event and having to wait for them to mount my tires before you can go back out. So now that I actually found some wheels that will fit this thing and look somewhat decent. I just got to get some tires, I, uh, well, a set of racing seats because I don't like to have just one. So racing seats and I'll probably end up buying like, I'll probably go for another event. So get some seats in this thing, some tires, go for another event, and just fill the car the way it is stock. And then I'll probably, I want to order like the, uh, was it the Mega Mantis kit for this thing? I think it's like 2000 bucks, which is a lot of money, but I think it'd be worth it because like so this car definitely needs more angle. Um, it was really hard to drive. So. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I'd like to go back to experience it the way it is now before I put angle and coilovers and stuff like that on it. So, All right, that's it. Just a quick test fit of those wheels. I think it's going to work out. And, uh, you know, maybe in the next video we'll get something done with a 350Z or this junk. Who knows? I'm like all over the place right now. <laughs> but all right, guys. Appreciate you watching. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. I'm not making excuses. I'm not that type of person. But this this thing is hard to drive. You're about to see. I got a GoPro set up right there. I got one on the side right there. But it's like... It's like almost dead. So it's probably die before I even get on track. But anyway, I'm going to go out there and like try to... Try to handle this thing. Because I need to get an angle kit and some seats. I got factory seats to it. I'm like all over the place in this thing. It's, it's ridiculous. But we are still having a great time. We're about to go out there. Wish me luck, guys.